So happy to be able to bring you the story of baby on Long Island beating the odds thanks to groundbreaking technology. The boy was diagnosed with a rare heart condition in the womb and needed a pacemaker to survive. But since he was too small, doctors created a unique device fit for his body. News 4's Rando Novini has little Mikey's story. You're all right, bud. This is a crucial assessment for two-month-old Mikey. Tiny sensors measure each heartbeat, the faint scars on his chest, a reminder of the major surgery he underwent just over a month ago. Doctors at Hassenfeld Children's Hospital at NYU Langone performed a rare procedure to outfit Mikey with the world's smallest pacemaker. I really can't thank them enough for what they did. Long Island mom Sarah Oliveri says when she and her husband discovered they were having their third boy, they were thrilled. But during a 20-week ultrasound, doctors noticed the baby's heart rate was dangerously low. It was hard to hear that there potentially could be something wrong with his heart. Throughout the pregnancy, we've noticed that his heart rate has started to go down more. Dr. Raina Tan says Mikey had a rare and dangerous heart condition, a complete heart block that would require a pacemaker. The current devices that are approved for use is pretty big, and so for a baby that's less than two kilos, it is quite difficult to put like a big device into that belly, and so typically we would wait. But Mikey didn't have time to wait. Instead, doctors sought emergency approval for a pacemaker the size of a large vitamin, a leap of faith for the Oliveri family. I can't honestly say I wasn't a little bit concerned, um, but again, we, we trusted these people. Mikey is one of just 52 babies who've received this tiny device in the United States, and he's the first in the tri-state. <laughs> when Mikey's four, he'll get a new, larger pacemaker, something he'll need for the rest of his life. Does he need to have an echo before that? No. Wow, look at you. Just knowing that he's doing so much better and that he doesn't need to be at a cardiologist every single week um, is a blessing. For now, he's spending his days out of the hospital and home bonding with his older brothers. His parents grateful for the medical teamwork to make Mikey's heart strong. We just want him to be able to live a normal life, which he's going to be able to do thanks to the people here. Rana Novini, News 4 New York.